Welcome to another Tech Help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I'm your instructor, Richard Ross. Today is part two of my VBA Editor Themes series, where I'm showing you how to create an editor for the themes in the VBA Editor. Makes sense, right? Okay, let's get back to it. All right, so yesterday we set up a nice little table. We got our VBA Editor table here, where we can store all the different settings that we care about. All right, we got light mode and dark mode all set up. Now we need the code to get these settings out of the registry, right? If I go to my VBA editor, I got a button up here on my quick launch toolbar. It opens up this guy, right? This is it right here. This is the hor horrendous black theme, the dark theme that a lot of you said you didn't like because it's hard to see in the videos. And yeah, okay, I get it. I get it. So these settings we're going to now save into my table. All right, how do we do that? Well, we need some code. And a little search of my website shows, oh, look at this, in the code vault. I got registry keys code in here. This has been in here for a long time, about two years now. I used it in my trusted location video in the extended cut. Okay, so here's some stuff. I'm going to share it with you. Once in a while, I'm nice, and I let you guys into my code vault. All right, all we need is the code for read key and save key. All right, the other ones, delete key, we don't need. Key exists, we don't really need for this one. All right, because we're gonna we're gonna make the changes and access and access will create the keys for us. We just need to be able to read them and save them back. All right, so we're gonna copy read key. I'm gonna copy that to my clipboard and then save key. I'm gonna copy that to my clipboard. I'm using the Windows Clipboard Manager so I can put multiple things on my clipboard at once. Now, if you're a gold member, you can just go grab this. You can download the database or um, you can uh, go right to the code vault and copy it. And if you're not a gold member, why not? There's so much cool stuff that gold members get, including the full code vault. Anyways, let's go back over to Access. All right, let's go to our global module down here. If you don't have one, make one, okay? And in my global module, I'm gonna paste that stuff that I have in my clipboard. So we're gonna go bring up the clipboard editor. We're gonna paste save key. And then we're gonna bring up editor again, and we're gonna paste the read key. All right, so I got read key and save key in my global module. All right, we're gonna use read key first, and all you have to do is say, what key do you wanna read? And it will go through and it'll it'll bring it back for you, just like any old function does, right? Save key's a little trickier, we'll get to that next. First, let's do the read key stuff. All right, come back over here. Design view, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, well, yeah, let's grab a button. Drop it right there. We're gonna cancel that wizard. And the first button is going to be get settings from registry. All right, we're gonna get the settings from the registry and put them in our fields here, okay? We can close this down here too. All right, right click, build event, brings us into here. Yeah, I know I apologize. Oh, I forgot to name the button. I apologize, you're gonna have to deal with the colors for one more time if you don't like it because I don't wanna lose the settings just yet. So let's, uh, let's, go, let's go give our button a good name first. I always forget that step. Give your button a good name, right? Not command 66, let's call it get settings button. All right, that's much better. I don't want Alex yelling at me. Right click, build event, get settings button. Okay, first thing we're gonna do is we can't get the settings if we don't already have a theme record set up here, right? So if they haven't set up this part yet, yell at them, say, hey, you gotta go set up a, key, a, a, a theme first, like light mode, dark mode, whatever. So we're just gonna check and see if this ID is null. Okay, real easy to do. We're gonna say if is null VBA theme ID, then message box invalid ID colon exit sub. Okay, all right. Now we're gonna just give them a little warning and says, hey, this is gonna overwrite whatever settings you currently have. Are you sure you wanna do this? Right, if message box, this will overwrite the current settings. Are you sure? Question mark, comma. I'm gonna go to the next line here. Uh, VB, yes, no, cancel, plus VB, default button two, comma, get settings. And if that's not VB, yes, then exit sub. And something's wrong, let's see where it is. Hold on, let's see. Oh, right there, forgot a quote. Okay. And if you don't know about the message box returning a value, I got videos on that, cover all this stuff before. I'll put links down below. 
All right, so we've made sure that we have an ID. We've double checked with the user, said, hey, are you sure you wanna do this? Okay, all right. Now it's time to get our first value. We'll start off with code back colors. So code back colors, that's the field on my form equals read key, read key, I can't type today, read key. What's the key? I'm gonna copy it because I got it on my clipboard here. You can copy it right out of the registry if you want to or get to typing, there it is. <laughs> and, oh, hang on, do that, there we go. All right, let me make sure that you guys can see that we don't need this open right now. There you go, I'll get the whole thing in here, okay? Now, one thing I can see is that I got this spelled wrong. That's actually colors, how do I know? Because it didn't capitalize, right? I didn't get my camel casing. So if I put colors there, now it capitalized properly. Now I know it's right. You don't know how many times I get people with error messages just because they spelled something wrong. Myself included, I'm guilty as well. All right, so we're gonna read key this. It starts off with H key current user, by the way, and then it's software, Microsoft, blah, 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 code back colors, that's the key. Okay, we need to get all four of them. So I'm gonna copy this, paste, paste, paste. The next one is code back colors, right? The next one is, um, what's the next one? Font face. And the last one is font height. Okay, and then we're just gonna copy this to there. Copy this, and wait, four colors. What am I doing today, people? Four, not enough coffee. Four colors, face, and height. Now, height is a number. Okay, so we're gonna, so this is gonna return a string. We're gonna convert that to a long, to a number, C-L-N-G. All right, that's called type conversion. Again, got a whole video on that. I'll put a link down below. Okay, got all four of those. When we're done, me.refresh. Okay, we're just gonna save the record because we just read some stuff in from the registry. We're gonna save it in the form and then give me a, give me a beep just so I know you're done. Okay, save it. Yes, debug compile, everybody's good. Let's close it, close it, open it. Let's go to dark mode. Remember, these are the fields that are associated with whatever record is up here. That's how I can get away with that, right? I've covered that in a bunch of different videos. All right, ready? And go. This will overwrite the current settings, are you sure? Yep, and there they are. Look at that. Uh -huh. Now don't mess with them here, don't edit these. In fact, I would even recommend lock these fields. Don't even let someone edit them. Just, you know, just select them. Let's make them all left aligned and let's do this. And let's go to data and locked as yes. So you can't change, I mean, you could, if you want to, you can, but I would be very wary of manually editing these. Because if you mess this up, like I said, access might not load. Who knows what might happen? Yes, I've, I've manually changed this myself from like 14 to 12 and it works just fine. But be careful, make the changes in access itself. All right, so we got our dark mode. Let's, let's set up a light mode. Now to do this, we have to go into the editor ourselves and adjust the colors. Okay, so tools, options, editor format, and now just set this however you want it to be. So we'll go foreground, let's go for normal text. I'll go black. And I'll put this to auto, which is usually white. Selection text, that's fine. Yeah, we'll leave that. Syntax errors, good. Execution points, good. Breakpoint text, that's good. Comment. Let's go back to white background for comments, but we got to go back to the darker green. Where are you? There. Keywords. Um, let's go blue on white. Identifier. Um, Let's go dark gray on white. Actually, no, I don't like that. Let's go, let's just do those blue too. You need more colors in here, Microsoft team. I know you guys are probably gonna be depreciating this editor soon anyways, but uh, this is kind of hard to read. Let's go with uh, that and maybe uh, that. How's that look? That looks fine. All return text, I almost never use that anyways. And let's make the white have a sm slightly smaller text. That. And then hit okay. All right, there it is. Okay, looks better. Now, close that. Light mode, get settings, yes, boom, there you go. Okay, light mode, dark mode, light mode, dark mode. 
light mode, dark mode, <laughs> girly straight. Now, we need another button to save the settings back. So let's say we're currently in light mode, all right? And now I'm, you know, it's late at night. I'm getting ready to do some you know, late night editing session, all right? Do some coding. And I want to switch back to my dark mode. All I got to do is open this up, click on dark mode, click on set settings to registry or save settings to registry. Put, put, we'll use put, put settings to registry. All right. And we'll do that in tomorrow's class. Well, let's see, today's Friday, so we'll do it on Monday. Oh, so I can't use my Batman slide. It's not tuned in tomorrow. It's tuned in Monday. Well, all right. All right, so I went to chat GPT and I said, make me a picture that says tune in Monday for the conclusion in the style of the 1960s Batman, right? And first it yelled at me and it said it can't because of content policy restrictions. And I said, no, 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 I don't want you to violate any copyright or policy, whatever. I just want it in that style, right? And uh, it did a pretty good job. I think this is closer to the 1970s Wonder Woman style, you know, with stuff coming out of the screen. And there's two things that the AI image generation still really has to work on. One is text, because as you can see, it completely mangled the text. I mean, I can tell what it's trying to say, but... And the second thing is fingers. If you look at any AI-generated art, they still have to work on getting the right number of fingers in there. <laughs> but I think overall did a pretty good job. It's going to be... It's going to be scary good in another year or two where you won't be able to tell what's what's what, what's human generated and what's not. But anyways, tune in Monday for part three, the conclusion, and we'll save these settings back to the registry, and then you can easily flip back and forth between your different profile settings. That'll be your tech help video for today. Hope you learned something. Live long and prosper, my friends. I'll see you on Monday. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and post any comments you may have below. I do try to read and answer all of them as soon as I can. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, which is completely free. Click the bell icon and select all to receive notifications when new videos are posted. Want to learn more? Click the show more link below the video to find additional resources and links. YouTube does a pretty good job of hiding it. It's right down there. See this part of the description here, right? The name, the videos up here. There's a little show more down there, right down the bottom. It's kind of hard to find. But once you click on that, you'll see a list of other videos, additional information related to the current topic, free lessons, and lots more. And YouTube no longer sends out email notifications when new videos are posted like they used to do. But if you'd like to get an email every time I post a new video, click on the link to join my mailing list. And you can pick how frequently to get emails from me, either as they happen daily, weekly, or monthly. Now, if you'd like to become a paid member of my channel and receive all kinds of awesome perks, click on the join button. You'll see a list of all the different membership levels that are available, each with its own special perks, including my extended cut videos, access to my code vault, lots of VBA source code in there, template downloads, and lots more. I'll talk more about these perks at the end of the video. Even if you don't want to commit to becoming a paid member, and you'd like to help support my work, please feel free to click on the tip jar link. Your patronage is greatly appreciated and will help keep these free videos coming. I got some puppies to feed. But don't worry, no matter what, these free tech help videos are going to keep coming. As long as you keep watching them, I'll keep making more and they'll always be free. Now, if you really want to learn Access and you haven't tried my free Access Level 1 course, check it out now. It covers all the basics of Microsoft Access, including building forms, queries, reports, and more. It's over four hours long. You can find it on my website or on my YouTube channel. I'll put a link down below you can click on. And did I mention it's completely free? The whole thing, free, four hours. Go watch it. And okay, okay, a lot of you have told me that you don't have time to sit through a four-hour course. So I do now have a quicker Microsoft Access for Beginners video that covers all the basics faster in about 30 minutes. And no, I didn't just put the video on fast forward. <laughs> but I'll put a link to this down below as well. Now, if you like level one, level two is just a dollar. That's it, one dollar. And that's another whole like 90 minute course. Level two is also free for 
paid members of any level, including supporters. So if you're a member, go watch level two. It's free. Okay, want to get your question answered in a video just like this one? Visit my tech help page and send me your question there. Members get priority, of course. While I do try to read and respond to all of the comments posted below in the comments section, I only have time to go through them briefly a couple of times a month, and sometimes I get thousands of them. So send me your question here on the tech help page, and you'll have a better chance of getting it answered. And while you're on my website, be sure to stop by my Access Forum. We've got lots of lively conversations about Microsoft Access and other topics. I have a fantastic group of moderators who help me answer questions. Shout out to Alex, Kevin, Scott, Adam, John, Dan, Juan, and everybody else who helps out on the site. I appreciate everything you do. I couldn't do it without you. Be sure to follow my blog, find me on Twitter, and of course on YouTube. Yeah, I'm on Facebook too, but I don't like Facebook. Don't get me started. Now, let's talk more about those member perks if you do decide to join as a paid member. There are different levels, silver, gold, platinum, and diamond. Silver members and up get access to all of my extended cut tech help videos, one free beginner class every month, and some other perks. Gold members get all the previous perks, plus access to download the sample databases that I build in my tech help videos, plus access to my code vault where I keep tons of different functions that I use, the code that I build in most of the videos. You'll also get higher priority if you do submit any tech help questions. Now answers are never guaranteed, but you do go higher in the list for me to read them. And if I like your question, you got a good chance of it being answered. You'll also get one free expert level class each month after you've finished the beginner series. Platinum members get all the previous perks plus even higher priority for tech help questions. You get access to all of my full beginner level courses for every subject. And I cover lots of different subjects like Word, Excel, VBA, ASP, lots of different stuff, not just access. These are the full length courses found on my website. You get all the beginner ones. In addition, once you finish the expert classes, you get one free developer class per month. So lots of training. And finally, you can also become a diamond sponsor. You'll have your name or your company name listed on a sponsors page that will be shown on each video as long as you're a sponsor. You'll get a shout out in the video and a link to your website or product in the text below the video and on my website. So that's it. Once again, my name is Richard Rost. Thank you for watching this video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something today. Live long and prosper, my friends. I'll see you again soon.